In this video, we will look at the SMMS Student Folder Checklist for Post-Secondary Transition. This video continues the Student Folder Checklist series, which begins with the initial or reevaluation videos. Post-secondary transition questions are completed for students age 16 or older. The system calculates the student's current age based on the child's date of birth and the date of review. Our focus is on students 16 or older since we use this data for federal reporting. The transition questions are broken down more specifically than in the past. Some items have a blue question mark at the end of the item. Hovering over the icon will show text that gives more detail about that item. Question number 36, ask if a transition plan is present. If the child has a plan, click yes. If not, click no. The three key areas of transition focus are broken down into specific questions. Item 38 is a specific to career and employment. Answer each of the questions for this topic. Then move through to the remaining questions. Item number 40 adds NA as an option because the area of independent living is addressed if needed for the student. Most students' IEPs do address independent living. Item number 43 looks at the connection between annual goals and the post-secondary transition goals for the student. Item number 44, ask about agency participation. Review this question carefully. Use the blue question mark to help you with the question. It outlines the conditions for which NA is the appropriate answer for this question. 44B requires you to look at the notice of conference to determine if a needed agency was invited to the IEP meeting. If you are unsure how to answer 44A or B, please contact your SEA or transition specialist for additional support. When you are finished, click Save. If you leave the screen without clicking Save, you will lose data. You can click Save as frequently as you need as you edit the form. You can save and come back to the form. You do not have to complete it in one sitting. Thank you for watching. Contact the Monitoring and Program Effectiveness Team or your Transition Specialist if you have questions.